Imagine, if you will, the onset of World War III, a global catastrophe that could spell the end of humanity as we know it. Picture a world in ruins, societies collapsed, landmarks erased and billions of lives lost. Envision the aftermath, the desolation, the struggle for survival in a post-apocalyptic world. The potential for such global destruction and the end of human civilization is truly chilling. But what if I told you that we came close to this reality? Yet here we stand. Our story begins with a man named Stanislav Petrov, a lieutenant colonel in the Soviet Union during the Cold War era. Petrov was not your typical soldier. He was a man of intellect working in the high-stakes realm of early warning systems essentially the eyes and ears of the Soviet Union in a time of growing tension. This was a time when the United States and the Soviet Union, two world superpowers, were locked in a deadly game of cat and mouse. The world was holding its breath, teetering on the edge of nuclear war. Yet, within the confines of the Soviet military, Petrov was more than just a pawn in this grand chess game. He was a crucial player a gatekeeper who could potentially hold the fate of the world in his hands. Petrov was not a man who sought fame or recognition, instead he was a man dedicated to his duty. The date was September 26, 1983, a day that started like any other, but one that would soon prove to be like no other. On this fateful day, Stanislav Petrov, a lieutenant colonel in the Soviet Air Defense Forces was stationed at his post. His duty? to monitor OKO, the Soviet Union's early warning system for nuclear attack. The Cold War had the world's two superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union, locked in a tense standoff, and the stakes were high. As the hours ticked by, the routine humdrum was shattered, the warning system's alarms blared, indicating an incoming missile from the United States. The screens flashed with the terrifying message, launch detected. The system was designed to detect intercontinental ballistic missiles from the United States, and it was alerting Petrov that it had done just that. Imagine the horror. The weight of the world suddenly thrust upon Petrov's shoulders. The system was telling him that the United States had launched a missile. One single decision from him could trigger a cascade of events leading to a full-blown nuclear war. The protocol was clear, a retaliatory strike was expected. But Petrov was a seasoned military man, he had intimate knowledge of the system's capabilities and its flaws. He knew that if the United States were to strike, they would do so with more than one missile to overwhelm the Soviet defenses. A single missile didn't add up. It was an anomaly. A glitch perhaps. Petrov found himself questioning the system's reliability. Yet, time was of the essence. With each passing second, the possibility of a nuclear warhead reaching Soviet soil was becoming more real. The pressure was immense, the margin for error, non-existent. Petrov faced an impossible choice, to retaliate and potentially start a global war, or to question the system's reliability. A choice that would shape the course of history. A choice that unbeknownst to him, would earn him the title of, the man who saved the world. With the fate of the world hanging in the balance, Petrov made his decision. A decision that was to be the razor's edge between peace and nuclear annihilation. But what led him to this choice? How did Petrov, a lieutenant colonel in the Soviet Air Defense Forces, choose to declare the alarm as a system malfunction, despite the potential risk? Petrov was not a gambler by nature. He was a man of logic, of reason, of careful consideration. But on that fateful night, he was asked to gamble with the highest stakes imaginable, the lives of millions of people. The alarm system was screaming of an incoming missile from the United States. Yet, Petrov had his doubts. You see Petrov believed that if the United States were to launch a strike, it would be all out, not limited to just one missile. It would be a hailstorm of destruction, not a single spear of aggression. And so, he chose to believe in his instincts over the cold, unfeeling logic of the alarm system. He declared it a malfunction, a glitch in the matrix of war and destruction. But it was not a decision made lightly. Every fiber of his being must have screamed in protest, every scenario of what could go wrong must have played out in his mind, but he held fast, he held true. He chose to believe in humanity over machinery, in peace over war. This decision, this gamble, was not without its consequences. Petrov was subjected to intense scrutiny, his career in the military ended not with applause but with a quiet, unceremonious exit. Yet he held firm, he held true. He chose to stand by his decision. A decision that we now know saved the world from a nuclear catastrophe. Petrov's decision was a gamble, a gamble that, fortunately for us, paid off. So the next time you look up at the sky, remember Petrov, 
Remember the man who chose peace over war, who chose to believe in the best of humanity even when faced with the worst. Remember the man who in the face of unimaginable pressure made a decision that saved the world. Petrov's actions that night changed the course of history. Just imagine the world we might be living in today if it hadn't been for the quick thinking and courage of Stanislav Petrov on that fateful September night. The aftermath of his decision was nothing short of a miracle. He took a leap of faith, trusted his instincts, and in doing so, potentially saved the world from a nuclear catastrophe that could have led to World War III. His actions that night prevented the launch of a retaliatory strike by the Soviet Union against the United States, an act that would have undoubtedly escalated into full-scale nuclear war. The lives that would have been lost, the cities that would have been destroyed, the world that could have been turned upside down, all averted by the decision of one man. Yet the world didn't know. Petrov's decision remained classified for many years, hidden away in the archives of the Soviet Union. It was only in the mid-90s, years after the Cold War had ended, that his story came to light. And even then, his actions were not widely recognized or celebrated. It was a quiet heroism, marked by humility and a deep sense of duty, rather than a desire for recognition or glory. Despite this, Petrov's story spread across the globe, inspiring many and serving as a stark reminder of the very real threat of nuclear war. It was a wake-up call to the world, highlighting the importance of diplomacy, communication, and critical thinking in times of crisis. Petrov's decision also underscored the essential role of individuals in shaping history. It demonstrated that one person, in the right place, at the right time, can make a difference. It serves as a testament to human courage and the power of critical thinking in the face of adversity. While Petrov was not widely recognized for his actions during his lifetime, his story serves as a reminder of the importance of critical thinking and courage in the face of adversity. Stanislav Petrov's story is not just a tale of a man who saved the world, but a testament to the power of one person's decision. As we delve into the legacy of Stanislav Petrov, we find a narrative that transcends time and geography. This man, who sat in a small room in the Soviet Union on a seemingly ordinary day, made a decision that reverberates through our collective history. His choice not to retaliate in the face of perceived aggression is a stark reminder of the potential consequences of military actions and the weight that these decisions carry. In the world of instant decisions and quick-fire reactions, Petrov's legacy is a beacon of patience and discernment. His decision to not immediately retaliate, to question the accuracy of the technology, to choose peace over war, is a lesson that remains relevant today more than four decades later. In an era where conflict can be triggered by a single tweet or a misunderstood comment, Petrov's legacy serves as a reminder of the importance of thoughtful decision-making, of questioning before acting. But it's not just in the military sphere that Petrov's legacy has resonance. His actions on that fateful day serve as a reminder to us all that one person can make a difference. That in the face of unimaginable pressure, one person can choose to question, to think, to decide differently, and that decision can change the world. Stanislav Petrov's decision also underscores the importance of human judgment in an increasingly automated world. His distrust of the early warning system, his choice to rely on his own instincts and judgment rather than the machine's readings, is a powerful reminder of the value of human intuition and decision-making. It highlights the critical role we, as humans, play in a world increasingly dominated by machines and algorithms. In the end, Petrov's legacy is not just about the man himself, but about the power of individual decision-making. It's a lesson in courage, in the capacity for critical thinking, and in the potential for one person to make a difference. It's a reminder that the fate of our world can sometimes hinge on a single decision made by a single person at a single moment in time. Stanislav Petrov may not be a household name, but he is a man who, in the face of unimaginable pressure, made a decision that saved us all. His story reminds us that sometimes the fate of the world can rest in the hands of one person making the right decision at the right time. 